we show the next slide. Oh, is it cutting out? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to give just a brief overview of actually what we've been looking at the last 11 years uh, that I've been working on the project. And we already saw the number of routes, the 20 different routes that were going to be evaluated as part of the studies. Therefore, with all of those routes going through the Century City area, we knew that we had to do quite a few investigations to find out which would be the safest route for the subway. So this particular map, and I know it's hard in the back to see, it, but again, these will be available later. This map shows the Century City area, and just to orient you, the Los Angeles Beverly Hills property limit is toward the right side. And then here's the heart of Century City. And Santa Monica Boulevard is running diagonal like that. So within this area, we have shown some dashed lines, some rectangular dashed lines, and some larger dashed lines. Each of those represent seismic investigations that were performed. And they were performed using a variety of methods. But, as you can see, we covered the entire area of Century City, looking at how the different of the 20 alignments would be impacted by faulting. The two alignments shown here are, the, are two of the 20, the Santa Monica Boulevard alignment and the Constellation Boulevard alignment. And there's a box that shows two of the station locations, one on each, that were evaluated, and a, and a third on Santa Monica Boulevard. So that was the investigation, without getting into details that I could talk eight hours about, I'm sure. But the findings from that were we did find faults in the area. And that's the reason we started the investigations, is the premise that their publications show there were faults in the area. So the faults that we found are shown by red dots within the areas explored. So the thing that became quickly apparent to all of the group of experts looking at the results was that there are many faults found up near Santa Monica Boulevard, but there are no faults whatsoever found on Constellation Boulevard. So from the seismic standpoint, that made the, the decision easy. Now, let me explain what the criteria are. Because uh, you have faults, as I've mentioned, and faults do two primary things. The first is the fault itself ruptures, meaning one side of the ground moves relative to the other side on the order of feet. And it's an unstoppable force. It's the entire ground moves one side relative to the other. So that's what I call a primary effect, the faulting, the rupture itself. The rupture, in turn, causes ground shaking that then emanates throughout the area. So whereas the rupture is localized to right on the fault, that rupture, the shaking spreads out for tens or even hundreds of miles in severe cases. So we have to look at two things. We have to look at rupture and the risks associated with that and ground shaking. So I'm gonna address those two separately. With regard to rupture, there are two elements that we have to think through. One are the tunnels of the subway, and the second are the stations. Now, obviously, the Southern California area is crisscrossed by faults, and to go from point A to point B, you have to cross faults somewhere or another. Uh, all of our existing infrastructure does. However, the tunnels are relatively small, circular-shaped, 
and they can be designed to withstand a rupture of a fault, number one. But even more importantly, uh, people are not at the location of an underground tunnel very long at all. The exposure of people crossing a fault in a subway train is very short time. That is in contrast to a station. A station is a very large structure, as we are showing during construction. And it's rectangular shaped rather than circle. And here's the thing about the subway stations. People are hanging out there almost 24 hours a day, waiting for trains, getting on and off the trains. So you have constant exposure of people. So you have risk of people in the subway station. So for that reason, as the station is an occupied structure, as opposed to the tunnel, we knew that we did not want to put the station where there are faults. And so citing it at Constellation Boulevard, we knew definitively that there was no fault at that location. So that was a safe location. That was the uh, main conclusion of the study. Now circling back, I said shaking is the other aspect. Well, shaking is unavoidable. All of our houses, all of our businesses will be shaken. But the shaking can be designed for in any instance. So uh, we've looked at fault rupture, we've looked at shaking, and those are the two elements that we consider. So uh, as a summary, first bullet, and we all know this, Southern California is a seismically active region, although we've had a little quiet period which I don't know about you, it just bothers me a little bit, wondering what the Earth has in store. But nevertheless, it's an active region. Number two, subway tunnels have and are regularly built to cross faults. The metro tunnels that exist have not, were not impacted by the Northridge earthquake. Similarly to BART, was not impacted by the Loma Prieta earthquake, those tunnels. And in contrast, subway stations cannot be designed if there's a fault rupture through the station with several feet movement to assure the safety of the public. So Metro has a policy. It does not build underground stations on active fault zones. And uh, that is consistent with how all other occupied structures are built in the state. So, in 2012, the SEIS reaffirmed the recommendation to locate the Century City Constellation Station where there is clear evidence that there is no fault. There's an interesting quote from Lucy Jones, who was one of the experts reviewing all of this work that occurred. She said, absolute no-brainer. There is no way you can safely build a subway station on Santa Monica Boulevard. So that was in 2012 after she had reviewed all of the evidence. So that's all I have for the part on seismic. Do we have questions on building this? I have questions all the time. We have to write them on the cards again. So if you have questions, so the, I know that we had a number of people that came in.